guys, I am here today with the Spellbinders Kit of the Month for April 2022. It's called Picket Fences. So for this month, they only included one card on a little inspiration sheet. And then on the back, it tells you how to put together that card. So we'll go through everything. As always, here's your cardstock. You do get nine pieces. Um, your double-sided gold mirror cardstock, which is a staple usually in the kits. A green pink, a lighter pink, a nice dark green, blue, vanilla, yellow, and light purple. Perfect colors for spring. Um, slide this over a little. You get your 10 card bases, 10 envelopes as always, your double-sided tape, and your adhesive squares. This month we get these sweet little puffy stickers. These are great. I like these puffy stickers. They've included similar ones like this before in their kits, but these are all sentiments with a few little flowers. So that's wonderful. Your stamp set is sentiment heavy, which is great. Um, it has a house and these look like um, they may be pretty good for the inside of your card. So we have best neighbor ever, welcome to the neighborhood. Closeness isn't measured by miles, it's measured by love. For all you do, for all you are, all our thanks. I hope your day is filled with all the things that matter most. I miss your smile, your laugh, your company, your hugs, and everything about you. So thankful for sweet neighbors like you. So these are really good for the inside. That's nice because I never do anything to the inside of my cards. Um, but when I send it off, sometimes I will find a sentiment to stamp inside. It just kind of depends. We have some chipboard stickers, which I always enjoy. You have a little cafe, bird, cup, a couple banners, some sentiment pieces and on the back side. A few more sentiment pieces, a house, a bike, some floral images, which is nice. We get some clear sequins this month, quite a large bag. Clear is always nice. It goes with everything. Your dies for this month are dies to create that picket fence with the flowers. So I will bust these out and just show you what they look like. They are, there are 12 of them. Sweet little fence, nice size. Leaf. These little wood pieces you can put on top of your fence to give it a wood look. Here are some stems for your flowers. And then some leaves. Another more flower pieces. The center of the flowers. And I guess that's another flower piece. So there are the dies. Some pattern paper. You get two of each sheet. I will flip through these really quick. That's precious. Love this on the dark cardstock. And then there's uh, a dark color. And then there are gold foiling. There is gold foiling. Like I said, perfect for spring. But you know, like these two, that would be nice for a baby card. Some dark blue. There was some words on it. Oops. Nice little hearts with the green. Some more hearts. Love that color combination. It's nice for a uh, welcome to the neighborhood. It's kind of a street map. Pretty floral or greenery, whatever. Some more gold foiling and these match the dye. Pretty color. Oh, that's weird. There's three of these. <laughs> huh. Interesting. You do only get two sheets, so I wonder if this was a, a oopsie, unless... Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So this is cool. People in a park. Like that. Red lines. Some more words. Splendid, amazing, joyful, happy. Pretty gold foiling and trees. 
some swans, very sweet. And that is it for the paper pack. I will be back and show you the ephemera, my favorite part. <laughs> All right, so really quick, here are some of the ephemera pieces. Like always, you do get two of each uh, piece. Really heavy floral uh, ephemera pieces this time around, which is great. I always like working with floral pieces. Sometimes it's easy, easier than creating a, a scene or something. That's cute, a little lady with a dog. You have a cake. Oops, and some flowers, some sentiments it looks like here, a tree, here's another little lady with a stroller, so really sweet, small ephemera pieces, which is fine, but uh, there's quite a bit of tiny ones in here, which is really cute, a house, a phone, and here are the same other, oh, and here's some bigger ones, kind of hiding on the bottom. So we will go ahead and move on to my 10 cards. As you're watching, let me know what your favorite card is. And if you're interested in the kit, a uh, card kit of the month, it will be linked below as well as the other club kits that Spellbinders offers. And um, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here are my 10 cards using the kit. We'll go ahead and go through them really quick. The first one, I, of course, used some pattern paper ephemera to make this cluster floral. I added the two little birds. There are sequins on this card, and this pattern paper is the foiled trees, gold foiled trees. And then this piece is the chipboard sticker, the best place. Um, just a tip with the chipboard stickers. These are pretty sticky, but with all chipboard stickers I have come in contact with, I highly recommend gluing them down. Don't leave them because I've gone through cards from previous, you know, like years ago that I still have that have chipboard stickers and they have fallen off. So I would glue them down. And again, that's not just with Spellbinders, it's with any chipboard sticker I come across. But that is the first card. I love the birds. The second card, I kind of had a baby card in mind. Um, I love the little swan with its babies, and then it just says, welcome. I used a circle die to cut that out and then paired it with the two pieces of pattern paper that coordinate with it. This card is actually pretty similar to the inspiration card, but I did add some of the pattern paper and also a chipboard sticker. And then all of these are the dies. What I really like about this fence die is that you can cut off the fence, but there's also a separate die to create the, let's see if it'll zoom or focus, the texture, you can kind of see it, of the fence posts. So I glued that, that's a separate piece I glued on. So really cute. Next is this simple card. I loved this chipboard sticker, so I had to find a way to use it. So I just used some soft colors cut out a circle die, adhered that, and then added the little um, thanks puffy sticker. Really cute. I love this pattern paper. That's so pretty and like perfect for spring. Next, this is a really nice card. Use this pattern paper and then with this um, cardstock that came in the kit, I added some of the gold cardstock in the back. See so these border, border edges. And then I added some floral ephemera, the dear friend puffy sticker, and then with some sequins. I had to find a way to use this big coffee cup and these two mugs. I thought it was just so cute. So just like the previous one, I used a piece of pattern paper to pair up with gold on the edge. And then I just kind of created this little cluster. It says coffee besties and the bottom here says grateful for the small things, the big things and everything in between. So I thought this would be a nice card for a friend, maybe that you get coffee with. Um, and then I added some sequins. This card is a nice one, kind of for any occasion. Um, maybe a new home, but I love the pattern paper. This was some ephemera pieces, the little fence here. And the chipboard sticker says, this place has something special. So I thought that was nice. 
This one is for a welcome to the neighborhood or new home, whatever. Um, it had two ephemera pieces that were kind of, this is like a cafe and that's a bookshop. And then I stamped that out with the stamp set, added little foam um, flowers, and then put a little chipboard sticker. That is kind of like your, I don't know what you call them, but where it marks the spot on a map. I thought that was really cute. This is a great kit for um, new home. But, you know, you can use it for other things as well, like this one that could be used for a birthday party. So I love these two pieces of pattern paper, especially paired together. It's just so soft. Cut out of uh, circle die um, with the yellow cardstock that I used for the card base. Out of the little chipboard. It says fun times. And then these are ephemera pieces I popped up. And then added some sequins. And then finally... Again, another welcome card, and I love this one. I love the trees, I love the girl on the bike, just kind of very um, neutral nature colors with the green, and I used the green card base. And uh, all this is ephemera, popped it up, and then obviously paired up these two pieces of pattern paper. So really liked working with this kit, it was a lot of fun. I love that card. <laughs> So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you are interested in the kit, it will be linked below. Let me know what your favorite card was. I always enjoy hearing from you in the comments. Even if I don't respond, please know I do read all of them. And I do appreciate every one of you for commenting, watching. Um, your support is very much appreciated. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.